Hello again. My next poem is called A Sexual Anachronism. This is a poem I wrote quite a few years ago now. The matter I chose as a theme was one I could easily align myself with. But the poem in actuality is about changing thought patterns, cultures and acceptance of a new norm and how at first the changes are so aggressive and massive it swings past the sensible to the other end of the spectrum before, over time, falling back to a sensible middle ground, which is where it was heading originally. So, here we go, a sexual anachronism. I've sat to contemplate men in jeans, in skirts or shorts with crotch tight seams, but ponder where such fancy lies, which draws men from a woman's thighs. The bust, the cleavage, simple things, a woman in motion, my libido sings. But chest and arm, strong jaw or bum, any man I watch just leaves me numb. Men for woman, women for man, seem to me the basic plan. A sketch, a start, but not the whole picture. The text is faint, but still in the scripture but buried and shunned, yet still in our ken. Woman for women, and man for men. I try to see as woman and man, in poetic manner, but don't think I can. So try as I might, I'll fail, I fear, to write as such and excite your ear. For the form, the feel, the very thought, unbalances me, confuses me, leaves me distraught. So I must stick to the form which fashions my fondest lusts and burning passions. So take this verse and make your own, before your love, where your heart's sown. Pictures cast in imagination's eye, with the lover whom you choose to lie. For me, it is the lady though, who sachets past, all hip and toe, Swaying tresses and heaving breast, voluptuous bottom, my carnal zest. It awakens such a primal urge to clasp and hold, cuddle and merge. Am I old, outdated, a man out of place? In an accepting world, a narrow-minded disgrace? Should we turn it over, relight the fire? Man with woman, a modern sexual pariah. Okay, I hope you uh, enjoyed that. I hope it might have opened your mind or made you think about something, possibly. Who knows? I enjoyed writing it. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. I'll see you again in a couple of weeks' time. Until then, thank you.